difference in my in my career. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe we can dive right in your coaching philosophy, and um, maybe you can just break probably break down you know the two or three biggest things that you stress and put emphasis on with your goaltenders, mm -hmm. either physically or mentally. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, I'll say that the first one, I think it's it's been like the tenth time I said it, but fun. Uh, it's all about fun. When the guys coming at the yeah. ring, they they have to have fun. Uh, as soon as it's it's like your own work to come to the ring, and you don't want, forget it. You won't have a good practice. You won't like you won't learn. So it's all about fun. Hockey, it's fun, man. It's we have the chance to play hockey. We have the chance to be healthy, and uh, to go on the ice. So let's take it. Just have fun out there. Smile. Uh, second thing I'll say it's consistency. So consistency, it's it's all about it. yes in practice, but habit, nutrition, uh, on your like training. It, that's the two, the second point. I'm it's very huge for for us and for me as a goalie coach that I work with my guys. Um, the third, uh, you you say two or three, but I have like four. I have in mind that yeah, yeah, like damn, that. I would love so it. I'll just go with four. So yeah, reading the game, man, it's it's huge. So um, for me, with my guys, the one of the where we put very a lot of emphasis and a lot of time, it's reading the game, understanding the game, the angles, and all stuff like that, and adjust yourself to that. So if you're a big goalie, you're a small goalie, uh, you have good feet, you have good hands, good tracking, man, adjust yourself, and read the game, and I'll say the last one, it's create a system. So. The, the last point, when I explain it to my guys, it's all about fun, consistency, reading the game, but and adjust yourself. But the the system, it's how you train, why you train, why you do that on the ice, why you use those technique, why it's it's all about the system, and we'll we'll, we'll be able to talk more about it during the this interview. But for us, it's it's all about the system. So that's one of the biggest things. Well, maybe we can dive right into that because uh, and and I and when Zach and I were on a call, you know, we both stressed that. And a lot of other pro guys that I talk to, they say the same thing, you know, you need to create a system. So, yep. you know, what exactly does that sort of mean to you? Maybe you can articulate that. And then yep. how do you build that out for your guys or teach them how to build their own systems? No, absolutely. So for us, how we see the system is how, how you react on certain, uh, I, I don't want to say certain play, but certain situation. So the system is, it can be off the ice, so all the mentally part of the game, uh, all all the uh, like I said, the nutrition, how you take care of your body, that's part of their system. Mm -hmm. uh, and on the ice, it's all, we're reading the play, reading the game. So where the if the player is right there, how, how will you play it? Uh, if example, there's a two on one rush or any kind of play, it's you as a goalie. What's your size? What's your your body, what's your strength, what's your weakness, so how you will play it. So first of all, with our goalies, we try to de determine every every goalie have their own system. So example, Zach won't have the same system as me. So we're not the same size. We don't have the same ability. Yeah. Uh, we have both different strength. So that's how I explain it. So every goalie, different, different size, different capacity and everything, uh, it will change. So that's that's for us the system. So. Like I yeah. said, if the player go from the corner, if you're, a, I have a six eight goalie, yes, you can do the reverse VH, but my five uh, five eight goalie, if he's right there on the on the ice, will you use the reverse VH, for example? So that's all part of our system that that mm. we try to to teach our our young goalie and older goalies. Yeah, and I like how you sort of said that the systems don't just start on the ice, they're actually off the ice as well. And that has to do with nutrition. So maybe you can just touch a bit with, you know, cause I, we, we talk a lot about the on ice systems yeah. on the show. Um, but I don't think we really talk about the off ice systems enough. Maybe you could touch on that. Absolutely. And when, when I say consistency, it's, it's huge, man. Cause it's, it's so easy, like just to, to cheat or, you have like a plan. That's your plan for the summer. Example, you you have your junior coach. Uh, when you come back, uh, uh, I want you like leaner, uh, faster, and stuff like that. So as an athlete, you have to go see professional that can help you. So a nutritionist, uh, like your strength coach, a mobility coach, all those stuff. So it's the consistency. If you you can you cheat one day, you say, oh, you know what? Never mind. I don't care today of the nutrition. It's that's part of your system. So what's your system? You want to want to play pro this year? You want to be the best goalie of your team? You want to be the 
number one in the queue or any league you play, man, you have to have a lot of constants in your yeah. office, nutrition. So, yeah, so, man, uh, nutrition, it's very important. And for me, what we try to do, we, we don't want to be like the, oh, we know everything. Yes, I, I had my nutrition plan when I was playing, and I still, like, take care a lot of uh, my body to perform when I'm coaching and still playing. Um, but we try to to bring, like, professional in their, in their area. So we have nutritionists working with our guys. Uh, we have all the resources uh, that they, they need. But I encourage even young goalies, 12, 13 years old goalie, just to be aware that that exists and that can play a huge role in their in their mm-hmm. game. I'm just curious, you know, because I think everybody loves the idea, you know, getting onto a nutrition plan and getting into a workout plan. But there's always the sort of those points that come, you know, where we have that choice to either let go of that consistency or even on the days where it's hard to hold on to it, sort of battle through, eat the right things, get the right sleep, all that stuff. So I'm just curious for you, what's some advice maybe for kids, um, you know, that, that you can share to help them stick with their commitments and and stick with their systems sort of even when things go bad or they get cut from a team or they have a bad week or a bad month, whatever it is, what's some advice you can give them? Start small. To be honest, it starts small. Nice. Like most of the time, we see the big picture. That's that's the big plan. We want to be there. We want to go there. We want to be that guy. We want. It's it's big. It's too big, man. We need to to focus on the small change first, mm. and then you'll see result. Then and to be honest, and you know, you're you're a high caliber goalie, and you know it's it's not like the next day you'll see you'll see result, and it's the same thing with like you learn yeah. a technique. It's not because you got scored like 10 time a uh, uh, low blocker that I coach you, I tell you like what you need to change that the next day it will be perfect. So it's it's all about training, practice and start small. Try to learn. So let's say there's a young goalie, he's, he got a bad month, like you said, bad week. So try to, okay, I understand what happened. What did I change? What did I not do well? And then write it down. Yeah, I tell my goalie, you know what? Like, yeah, buy a book. It's a $2 book. And everybody have a pen or use your phone. Just write down what's not going good. What's what's your weakness this week? What's your weakness this month? And after, like, try to, okay, this one. So I didn't eat well during the game. I didn't have energy. Uh, uh, I felt, like, dehydrated. So what I can do, small step. And along the way, like after a month, after two months, you'll see the difference. Most of the time, especially younger goalie, I'll say they, man, they, they want to be in the NHL tomorrow. Hey, relax, yeah. man. How, how, how can you get there? You want to go play pro? You want to go junior major? I, we have some kids that were like yeah, Bantan. They want to play Ninja Triple A. How yeah. can you get there? What what do you need to be there? Like When they tell me, oh, I, I need to be the best. All right, you want to be the best. How can you be the best? What can you like what you can control and what you can't control? Mm. So that's a, a huge difference. And I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, you you had to deal with the same uh, same kind of issue when you were younger, when you were playing prep school or or mm. anywhere in your pro career that uh, man, if you start small, you'll get there slowly but surely and man, that will be huge in your system. So yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. No, I love that. It's it's it goes along with the saying that like people say you need to be process oriented. Yeah. Um, but it's also like how do you build a wall? You build the wall one brick at a time. And I exactly. think that even kids I talk to, I'm like, you know what? Like you're like for example, getting back into training after COVID, like you already know you're you're gonna be rusty going on the ice. So go on the ice, don't set much expectations, see where you're at, and then you sort of tackle the low hanging fruits. Uh, oh, like my, I got beat a lot of five hole today, you know, yeah. at next skate, I'm going to try and shave two or three goals off five hole and skate by skate week by week. You just shave a little, shave a couple goals off here, a couple goals off there. And the next thing, you know, you know, and I love that start small thing. Cause I even say that for kids, uh, who have a hard time sticking with their commitments. I say the same thing. I say, Hey, if you have a hard time working out like tomorrow, go work out for five minutes and stop. And, and then the no, next exactly, day, exactly. And like, yeah, said, like you just maybe you can jump into that a bit. Yeah, but li- like you said, you say example, you got score five all tomorrow. Let's shave that, and uh, instead of getting four goal five all, let's try to two. But you, you, 
for for our parts, like as goalie coach, we need to understand why you got scored five goals. And even a kid, he don't have a, like this goalie coach to every game, or he, he don't have access to send his uh, his videotape to his goalie coach. Yeah. Man, we're, now with all the resource like you guys are doing with goalie acts, uh, all the great goalie school that we have everywhere in the world, in Europe, in the United States, in Canada. Man, it's it's easy to understand. Okay, what what I did wrong? Why I got scored five goals? Mm-hmm. Is it because I was on my heel? Is it because you know some little details yeah. like that? If you really watch and you if you really want to improve, you'll find a way. you even if you don't have the money to pay like all the greatest goalie coach in the world. So let's say okay, I got scored five goals. Okay, why? So I got a film. Let, let's watch it. Okay, so I did this. I did this. I did that. I see some goalies are not doing this. So you can, it's it's like, man, we're in 2020. Every Almost everybody can learn anything on the internet right now on YouTube. You want to learn guitar? Yeah. You'll learn. So, yeah. man, I, I encourage, especially the young goalies, try to learn yourself. Try to, okay, so I got score 5 old. Why got score 5 old? Let's try mm-hmm. to, to correct that. And tomorrow, it's not like just, I got score 5 old. I don't want to get score 5 old. Yeah, it's everybody want and don't want. But to find the why, and that's something it's huge for us. What's your why? Why why are you doing it, and why you're not doing it? So let's mm-hmm. say, like I said, the the, the eels thing that's huge with the smaller goalie. They tend to to fall on their butt on the butterfly. Mm-hmm. Uh, they, they, they the hips are not very str- like strong, and they're most of the time they play on the heel. Maybe that's a that's a, a reason why they got score five ball or. A low glove, they, they will not be, they will not able to react on the the flash shot. So, mm-hmm. and like I said, start small. Yeah, and it's funny. It uh, just to to finish off the point, you know, I I have kids who send me video, and it, I, they only send me five minutes of video, and I could write a two to four page pa- paper, basically, you know, saying identifying all the deficiencies in your game. And I think yeah. nowadays. A lot of goalies have the tools, right? Like everybody has the skills, has the tools, but where does true elite goaltending lie is in those details of like being on your heels. Like where are you shifting your weight on the release? Yeah. Are you counteracting your weight when you're moving across the net and you're wasting a quarter of a second, a half a second? Those are the little details really that that separate people when you break the game down. And um, because I think that in the age of the internet, there's that there's it's almost like we're getting to a point where there's information overload too right oh it, um, absolutely and it's not all the information that it's uh, it's it's good right yeah yeah so you know i i for everybody listening i i recommend that like hey your skating's good how can you make it one percent better like yeah. you know alluding back to your point we're just you're just trying to start small and build up from there but I'm just curious, um, you know, for kids trying to make that transition to junior hockey, you know, whether it be major junior, tier two junior, you know, what are some things that are important to have a good grip on or a good fundamental base around in order to be able to transition well to juniors? 